on this channel we only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone all right guys welcome back to another segment you know the way we normally do it i'm always there to give you guys update that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone yes chelsea fans they are very relaxed they are very happy even even self chelsea fans now go first they are rival today reach uh vincenta because today some of us want to go watch my new match it's you not that it. i'm bragging that is it i suppose that we are supposed to be there but at least at least i know that if these boys put more strength in this second half of the league definitely they will get to a good position in the premier league table whether you like it or not sometimes we will come on out for your coach day. coach go do your own part but make the boys then put out as in put out their bring out their mind fight Pin their head grand, say yes, this one I do or die affair, say must reach this level. You go see they go reach there. Even without coach this thing self, they go do them. Coach oh now let to make selection, give instruction. But even as they give instru- instruction, do pass that instruction. Even do more than that. But make it be for positive reason where they do more than that. You understand? So that is it. But before I push forward to everything I want to talk about, um, you see these super egos. You see these super egos. If now this leg, where I want carry com- compete for this AFCON, make can I let us know? I I I don't just know everything I watch today. Whether na ego super, I've been a super ego. Equatoria Guinea. Now na the gamble and I leg up and down with. When I never face people like Senegal, uh, make uh, this uh, Morocco. So many good good side, and I never face them. None of they play this kind of thing. Well, the let way make me watch this play go match now because of Victor Simeon. Because I know seen a Chelsea potential striker. A striker away Chelsea every morning. Everybody they talk about and say he's coming to Chelsea. Say he go come Chelsea. Now one of the reasons why I they watch the Super Eagle. Else on the normal ground, what's my business? Now, Shevin and Chelsea will they do it? But one of the reasons why I watched the Super Eagles game was because of Victor Osime. And now one of the reasons why I go, I go watch the AFCON that I want to watch Victor Osime. I want to get in full start for this AFCON. So that when they break and down, they turn and say, see the reason why we need to sign Victor Osime. Some of us, we go, they hit, go, they do say, yes, just they don't need to waste time to get this guy's signature. You understand, but all the same, the super egos need to work hard because if it can, if they played, if it's this kind of foot I saw today, I don't think they will go far. I don't think so. I'm just being honest with you guys. Equatorial Ikoto, Guinea, neither they play like this with. I know since 11 11 players, you understand, you know, if you underestimate your other country too, because they, they came prepared for the competition, but even at that, guy, come on. They need to put out their best out there. They are not. We are not joking. They need to. They need to put out their best. Not be to put out their best for social media. They shout, eh, "Why are you so so worried?" Follow that. No, we don't need that. Put out your best on the pitch and give us results. That is what you want. Moving over to Chelsea, my club. Yes, yesterday was a fun day for us. It was not a disappointing day. You can see, I'm ve- I'm smiling seriously. I don't have to frown. I don't have to say, "Hey." Chelsea again. Why would they do like this? Why would they do like that? Yesterday, I did not give a proper view of that game yesterday. So, I want to do that right now. I want to just touch one or two sides of that game. And also, yeah, your own thought again. And don't forget to drop your own thought as a Nigerian person about the Super Eagles at the comment section. And also, the same thing goes to the Equatorial Guinea. If you are watching me from Equatorial Guinea, drop your own thoughts towards your country at the comment section. Yes, um, that yesterday game was an intense match, was an intense game. Definitely, I was not even expecting Chelsea sh- to win that game. I'm just being honest to you guys. But rest assured, the three points was very, very important. If you watch all of them, we post for social media, especially on Instagram. They said one thing. They said the three points was important. The three points was very important. The three, point, the three points was important. At least now, 31 points. If we win our next four games or three games, which I know say those next three or four games, he choke, oh, he choke seriously, he choke. So it's not going to be funny. The next of next three or four games, not going to be funny. But even at that, even at that, they need to 
they need to fight. They need to fight the way they fought yesterday. Anything that they are playing, they need to take it very serious. They don't need to slack. You understand? They don't need to slack. They need to fight very serious to make sure that they get to the top. Whether yes, now they can fight and still get to the top. Any away they want. I know some people say get to the top for we are first position. Baba, this is football, though. This is football. As now where everybody been the hype saying I then go top league to 2023 go end half fast. They've been in the fourth position. This is football. Never can tell. You understand? Never can tell. And before I push forward again, I, I want to say this. I want to tell all Manchester United fans that right now I'm topping you guys. I the top man you right now. Except then kick ball right now. Except match start right now. Nine man if you they top me. Because if my play draw. They'll be 32 points. I'll be 31 points. I'll be ninth position. They will be eighth position. But if my lose against Tottenham, you sure for me. We top. Then they below us. But for now, then they below us, whether they like them or not. Now we they top them. You understand? Now we they top them. Then um talking about the match yesterday again. Well, just like I said, it was an intense and high pressing game. But I never expected Chelsea to win Fulham. I was just, I was on a neutral level. It was draw. It was draw. That was what I predicted. Not Chelsea winning. It was draw. But even at that, they, they stood up, stood their ground, got that penalty, hold down everything and make sure that they secured that three points, which was very, very important and crucial to them. And talking about um, one of the match, Enzo Fernandez, he did very well. He was everywhere, everywhere yesterday. He was he was more as in, I see Enzo more in the game yesterday than Conor Gallagher. I'm just being honest. You remember what once I always tell you guys. Now wait till I see that they now they carry assess. Now they carry tell you. I no go tell you because of in perform last match. Then mm. now waiting I see that they they tell you. Enzo was just wonderful yesterday. He was just the Enzo we want to see. You understand, but even at that, he still needs some improvements. He still needs some improvements. Then talking about the mark the tackle from Malugusto on Williams. Well, after much investigation and uh, after much watching online, because I, I gotta take my time watch that clip, both the pictorial view of the team. <laughs> on a normal ground, Anthony Zello really pity Chelsea yesterday. Else, see that tackle on a neutral level and straight red card. If we're given a red card. But if you watch, you know, as in flash and the yellow card, you know, bother to check because get some fans, maybe some full hand family, they protest, they make him go check VR, review that thing again. Else, it will say they may review that tackle again, the red card, and that thing for become. That means if that guy don't get like two red cards this season, you understand. But even at that, they still need to work on their dis- disciplinary uh, side, they need to be careful. They should be careful the way they pick yellow card week in, week out. It's not funny at all. You understand? But even at that, um, they tried very well. And again, Petrovic. Hmm. Small, 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 small. That boy goes, sit Sanchez, Zano. I notice if Sanchez come back from injury, the Oscar kind of good for a game like that, though. You know, go easy. But even at that, we move. We move, we move. Yesterday was a very good game for us. I enjoyed every bit of it, whether I like it or not. Though I was not in a very good position to say much about it. But right now, then talking about the bringing on on ben, bringing up uh, Ben Chiwe from the bench instead of bringing up uh, Mudrik, because some people are saying chess they win one zero instead of Pochettino to bring in Mudrik so that he go put more pressure. For the defense, for full on defense, so that if he commits, then then get the second goal. Instead, then they go bring Ben Chiwe. Yes, he brought Ben Chiwe. He wanted to defend the one goal. Since you don't say the boys don't try out their best possible best, they know if he score. You have to bring in a defender to play as a winger and also fall back as a defender so that they can secure the one goal. That was why he introduced Ben Chiwe. But please, let me just believe that he just introduced him just because of you just want to defend the one goal. But in our next game, I don't want to see situation where we say I go to see Levi Kobe for left swing back. Also see uh, Chiwe as a winger. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. I know say as a left swing back too, he can still act as a winger too. 
but you are not a proper winger. You understand? And also, Pochettino, there's one thing everybody, every fans have been crying out loud, and he needs to make adjustment on that. Playing players out of position. Playing players out of position is not helping. I know that he's just trying to manage his players, but even at that, he still needs results. You keep managing and you are losing. You'll be managing and you are losing. It doesn't help. It doesn't tell any good side of you if you are losing. The next thing you'll see is sack later. So, put those players in their rightful position and the main thing is to get the results. You understand? Then, as for Christopher Nkunku, the only thing we normally hear every day is definitely he's going to come back anytime soon, anytime soon, anytime soon. For now, I will not say much about Nkunku till I get a proper feedback or a proper update about this Nkunku injury. You understand? But for now, but for um, now, do, um, do it to drop your thoughts and your concern over this video. Subscribe, follow this page because on this channel, I only give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. And also, I'll still be putting an eye on Vitor Simen in the AFCON because I will see they talk about the AFCON too. You understand? Thank you very much.